All right, you guys. Stopping by here at Gateway Classic Cars. I'm gonna walk in over here. We're gonna be over by the Jeeps. We're gonna start at the Jeeps, not the, the Toyota Jeeps, I mean. Just wanna show you guys here what they had sitting outside here. Got a beautiful Camaro SS. What was that Plymouth Scamp, something like that. Got a GTO here too. Mercedes, Corvette, and you got a couple uh, Porsche Speedsters, most likely replicas, but there's two of them sitting here. Whereas out back here of the shop, out back, it's a big warehouse. This is like in the back parking lot. So I just thought I'd show you guys before we get inside. Really nice little cars though. These are really nice. To give you guys an idea. So just walking around, just before I walk in, I'm gonna walk in, we're gonna be right by the, the Toyotas and the Land Cruisers and there's a Nissan sitting right here in the corner. I'll start right there and show you guys that. It's gonna be a little bit darker inside, but we'll see how the GoPro does. You got somebody here trying out a car. They're trying out a, a Pontiac GS. People came down from Maryland, look at that. I think, I don't know how many they have at these places, but they have some all over the country. Camaro with the 350, this would be like 67. Looks good with those hubcaps. Looks really good. All right, you guys, let's get in there and see what we can see. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to be stopping by Gateway Classic Cars in Coral Springs, Florida. We're going to take a look at what they have. I'm going to bring you along with me. You guys can see everything they have. You see they're in a, like an industrial park here. Just give you guys a little bit of an idea. They have this big warehouse. And it's full of cars. We're just going to walk in right here where we we're going to walk in. Going to be a bunch of Toyotas. So let's take a look for you guys that like these Toyotas. We got a, a Toyota Land Cruiser. We got a Land Rover sitting right here, a Defender 90. A couple more Toyotas, another one sitting right here. So if you guys like Toyotas, they got them here. Just to give you guys an idea, a 72 Land Cruiser FJ40, 28 grand, the blue one right here. 55 for the 74. No pricing on this blue one here. This is not even a Toyota, this is a Nissan. This must be something that was imported. Because I've never seen that before. A Nissan making that. Nissan Patrol. Better take a second look at this. I've never seen something like this. Look at the color of the interior. Another Land Cruiser, pickup truck, Land Cruiser, Toyota. All right, we'll walk down here along the wall here, just show you guys. We got a, an old coupe sitting here. Forty-one Plymouth Coupe, street rod, $46,000. T-Bird, Camaro, 2005 T-Bird, $18,000, doesn't say the mileage. Oh yeah, 18,000 miles, 29,000, 18,000 miles, $29,000. Got a Monte Carlo Pace car, this would be something like 2002, something like that. A 2000, 48,000 miles. 19,000. Look at this. We got ourselves a nice, boy, this looks really good, eh? Got the old three, probably a 351. Torino, 1970. Automatic. Beautiful GTO sitting right here, right next to it. 
manual GTO, a gated as you would say. This is anti-theft for the kids. All the paperwork of this car sitting here on the dash. Judge, this car is perfect. Everything is perfect. All the stickers are in the right place. It's gonna be the 469. This is a 1969 with the 400 Ram Air. Beautiful stripes. Look at that, beautiful stripes. Square body right here. Must be something don't have much mileage because it looks pretty straight. 13,000 actual miles, 1997. It's got the 350. Be leather interior, king cab, extra cab, however you want to call that. Got a sales of Grand Wagoneer sitting right here. You know, these are back in, people love these. So Chrysler started making them, the Jeep started making them again. Got the fake wood on the side. Pretty clean, in and out. It's a 1990, $34,000. So it's got 115,000 miles on it. Nice stuff. It's fun that I can walk around here and there's no music or anything playing so we can look at all this stuff. Another GTO, here's the Ranchero. It's something you don't see every day. With the 390, really, this has got the big block, the 390 Ranchero, 69. See, look at that, 390. Usually you have the 351s. Manual transmission. Good truck. You can use this to go to work every day. Put your pail and your shovel and your hedge trimmer in the back and go to work. Blue, looks really good, really nice car. Put the original wheels on that. Put the Magnum 500s on that. That would look really good on that, that car there. Volkswagen van. Another GTO here, sorry you guys. Got another GTO here. Got a, a Le Mans right here. This is a, this one right here is a 66 GTO. The 389. Pontiac Le Mans sitting right beside it. 1970 with the 350. Grand Prix. Look at the old Grand Prix. This would be from the 70s or the 77 Grand Prix. Look at this Le Mans. This Le Mans is really nice. I like that red, eh? It's got that resell red on it. Go without the wing. Automatic. Bucket seat. All right. Got a Ferrari sitting here. Some more Toyotas. A lot of Toyotas here. Three more Toyotas sitting right here. If you guys are in the Toyotas and you're looking for Toyotas and the steel looks good on all of these. 79. Another GTO, 1970 with the Ram Air. Judge, even got your window sticker right here. This car come out of Texas. Automatic, 1970 with the 400. It says 25,000 actual miles. I don't know if this is a, a survivor or what. Got the wing, the Pontiac wing on the back. Couple Corvettes. Pink Cadillac. Look at that. Can you tell what this car is? This is where the exhaust comes out of the mufflers. You got your tail lights. That's where you put your gas, right there. 
For some of you that might not have known that, it's where you put the gas in that. Got a Fairlane, Fairlane 500, Ford Fairlane sitting right here, right beside it. All right, got a Corvette. It's gonna be a C1. With the white and the red, we got two. Two of them sitting here. This one right here is a 62. 62. And this beautiful red one right here is going to be a 60. 127,000 for this 60. Another Corvette sitting here. It's going to be late 70s. More Toyotas. I don't know if the, somebody had a Toyota collection. They sent it all here. 59 Impala with the 289. Four door Impala 289. Red exterior. Red interior. Look at the lines on this. Beautiful lines. Look at these beautiful lines on here. The back lights. Another square body sitting right there. So we've got a row of pickups here on the left. I'll look at this one right here, this square body. This is gonna be, I'm not quite sure what year this one is. This is gonna be like around a 80, somewhere around there. Let me take a quick look, Silverado 10. No numbers. All right, Toyotas, Toyota, Toyota, Toyota. A lot of Toyotas. Got ourselves a Jeep, a 2008, 90,000 miles. It's got the 38, 20 grand. Another Toyota, got ourselves a beautiful pickup, GMC. Another Ford right here, F100. This Ford right here last was registered in, the last time it was registered was 2005. Defender. Nineteen ninety Defender. $60,000. Another Mustang, SVT. We've got another square body right here. We've got a square body. This is a 86 square body. $40,000. Short box. And black. We've got Mustang Cobra. Toyota. Oh, we got a Bronco sitting there. We'll go look at that. We got another Toyota here. No, this is a Land Rover, 1995 Land Rover, $35,000. Sorry about that. GTO. Toyota. No, Nissan. Man, these Nissans sure look like Toyotas. All right, we got a Bronco sitting right here. 83000 1975. $83,000. Got a Jeep. J20 sitting right beside it. Long box. Another Ford. 65 F100. 
Hundred thousand dollars. They're asking for this one. Hundred thousand dollars. Let's walk around this. See what's going on. Got a little. A lot of work went into this one. Somebody spent a lot of money sitting on bags. Got ourselves a 32 coupe. High boy. $50,000 for this one. What's that? Is that, a, is that a Ford they put in there? They put in a Chevy. Put in a Chevy, 350. Not a Cheyenne pickup. Beautiful pickup, long box. Beautiful. Got some Corvettes along here. A row of Corvettes. You got a, a Nissan or a Datsun sitting there. Corvettes. This one kind of stands out throughout all these Corvettes. 1980. $33,000. 140,000 miles. These are starting to be collectible. Beautiful Corvette here. This would be around in 1990, 1993. $27,000. $25,000 for the 77. Got a Pontiac. Firebird coming up. We'll go look at that. Here we got a uh, Pontiac right here. This is going to be a Trans Am 2002. $33,000. Got 45,000 actual miles. Convertible. 2002. 45,000 actual miles. They're asking 33,000. Look at this beautiful Firebird right here. Firebird with the 400, it's gonna be a 67, the first year. First year they made this. Car's been totally restored. Even have the red line tires. Volkswagen van sitting inside it. All right, let's take a look what we have here. We've got another T-Bird here. Don't forget you guys, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy this stuff, you guys can always talk to me, let me know. We're in Coral Springs, Florida here. Just walking around, bringing you guys along with me, giving you guys some stuff to look at. Especially you guys up north in Canada, where it's cold this time of the year, you don't see much of this. Hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. Here's a big Chrysler. Look at this with the fake wood. 1968 Chrysler Newport. 383. Even got the dice up on the it's convertible. I didn't even notice it was a convertible. And I haven't seen many of these. Something I don't see very often. And sitting right beside it. Got this beautiful car here. This is a um, this is like the car that they use in the movie Carrie. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry about that. This is a Packard. This is a Packard. Sorry about that. When I saw this trim here, I thought that that's what it was. This is a 58 Packard, 289. Four-door Packard. Beautiful lines on it. Beautiful lines. This is the Fairlane 500 we saw a while back. You know, I have a soft spot for, for Fords. These are beautiful colors. These are southern colors for Florida, stuff like that. The warm weather colors, I would call it. $59, $26,000. Actually, not too bad. $26,000 for $59. Two-door. Toyota. SL 500. Beautiful cars. 
you have a lot of problems. Suspension, 2005, $19,000. 88 Fox body. See the high backs? That was 88. The high headrest. Automatic. Resell red. Got some mags. Looks like ROH mags they used to make back in the day. These are knockoff mags. 88. It says 80,000 actual miles. $19,000. Look at this Cadillac, beautiful Cadillac. 68 GTX, right there, beautiful. A Chevelle. Look at the seats they put in this. Even got your gauges. It's got an LS in it. Beautiful Chevelle, beautiful colors, LS motor. You know it's gonna start every time when you have that. 69, $83,000, got a six liter. Sitting right beside it here. Another Chevelle. Beautiful color. 67, 65,000, it's got the 396. It's got the old stick shift. You don't have to worry about getting that stolen by the young ones. 928. 8. Sitting in black. Must be something special about this one. It's a 91, it's 138,000. It's got 36,000 original miles. Standard transmission. That's probably why it's so expensive. All original. Beautiful Camaro sitting beside it. Even got the sunroof, 90, 91. Sunroofs are a big thing. 36,000 miles, $138,000. Camaro, I've got a couple Camaros sitting here. I like these, looks nice on there. 2002, 19,000 original miles, $30,000. 35th anniversary, convertible. Actually not too bad for the price. For $30,000, and if that's negotiable, you can get a, yourself a good car right here. Here's another SS sitting right beside it. The manual transmission. This is a 97. This one's $33,000. This one has 100,000 miles. El Dorado. Look at this sitting on the steel. Big Daddy coming into town. Look at the big leather, brown leather seats. The vinyl top on that. Look how long that hood is. You gotta have some long arms to be able to reach and clean all that. 77, 27,000, it's got the 425, it says 48,000 original miles. You know, all these original miles, it's hard to tell if they really do have all these original miles because a lot of these speedometers are in, they only go up to 100,000. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my walking around here. A Couple more cars and that'll be it. Ford, baby blue. Galaxy 500, convertible, $29,000. White top, little blue. Another Seville Cadillac. This is going to be 
the 79, something like that. Got a light yellow. $83, dollars Okay, here's something you don't see very often. A Volvo. This is gonna be the wagon with the turbo motor. This is a 1990 740 wagon. Oh no, it's been modified, it's got a V8. It says it has a 383 stroker V8 modified, 22 grand. 2,000 miles since it's been done. Here's a little Cherokee. You guys want a clean little Cherokee. Steel's all nice, it's white. The paint's been burned a bit from the sun. 10 grand for a 2,000 with the six cylinder. If you guys like these old Jeeps and you had someone, you had them in the past, you guys want to get a nice one. They have a nice one right here with the four liter. All right, sitting next to it, Ford Fairlane. The hubcap wheels. It's gonna be a 64 or a Galaxy 500, $34,000. Sim side in, not a big Cadillac. Big, big Cadillac. This is when they were big. This is gonna be 50, chrome, chrome needs to be redone. It's gonna be 56, series 62, $20,000. Steel looks good. Steel all looks good on it. With the silver, at $20,000 though, you can't go wrong. Let me show you guys. I'll show you guys how you get the gas in this one. This is going to be one of those cars again where the filler for the gas is going to be different. For some of you younger ones that don't know this stuff. Let me walk over here. I'll show you guys how we open this up here. That's where you put the gas in it. She's in a rough shape, but she's still there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video with all these beautiful cars here. So don't forget, if you guys want to see part one, you can go back, there'll be a part one. This is part two. You guys want to see uh, me walking around this place, especially for you guys up north. This time of the year, it's not very nice, so you guys can see all these cars. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it for you guys. All right, take care of you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.